you can configure pricing at SPRO, IMG, sales and distribution, basic functions, pricing, pricing control. This is where you have all the configuration for the entire condition technique. But I don't go there. I use a area menu VOK0. It's an old transaction, uh, but you can do everything here that you can do in pricing control. So either way, it's fine. You could do one of both. So I'm going to use VOK0 because it saves me time because you know we do it again and again and again. So instead of going to the menu path, I use this transaction and everything related to pricing is here. So go to VOK0 and you get a blank screen like this. And everything you need is here. Where? In the menus. The first thing that we want to do is step number one. Field catalog, right? In this chapter, we're not going to solve the problems that we discussed. The Dell problem or whatever. As a first pass, we're just going to see the configuration. Just an overview. In the next chapters, when we do a hands-on, we'll actually solve a problem. We'll create a condition table, we'll create a condition type, we'll create our own access sequence. But for now, we'll just see what these things are. It's more or less a walkthrough of the configuration. So, to get to the field catalog, go to environment, condition table, field catalog. What is a field catalog? How does it look like? It looks like this. See, I told you there are 200 odd fields there, right? And these are the fields provided by SAP. City, company code, country, order reason, sales document type, customer, customer hierarchy, inco terms. You can have your pricing, discounts or taxes anything based on these fields. The amount of flexibility that condition technique gives you is enormous. You just don't feel that yet. When you start facing the scenarios in real time, you'll feel the flexibility that condition technique gives you. Anything that's in the field catalog, field catalog is a list of fields that can be used as the basis for pricing. Once again, when I mean pricing, I'm just using it as a generic word. It could mean price, discounts, taxes, surcharges, or freight, any of these. The next step is the condition table. We'll not create a condition table in this chapter, like I said, but we'll see an existing condition table. We'll create condition tables when we go to the hands-on. A condition table is a three-digit numeric number. Starting from 1 all the way through 999. Like 002, 004, 005, so on until 999. The thing that you have to remember here is 1 through 600 are reserved for SAP. Meaning, just like the way anything starts with A through X is configured for SAP only. So whenever you create a own order type, you, use, you start either with a Y or with a Z, right? So that's the customer namespace. Anything before that is SAP namespace. Similarly, for condition tables, 1 through 600 is reserved for SAP. So you cannot create condition tables in that space. Technically you can, but you're not supposed to. So what is your namespace? 601 through 999. If you want to create your own condition table, sure, create it in that namespace. 
let's view a condition table if you take let's say customer material combination 702 enter customer and material combination where do you pull these fields from from the field catalog the section on the right here is the field catalog now when you do a hands-on when you do a hands-on we'll see how to pull these fields from the field catalog but for now just understand that the fields on the left are actually pulled from the field catalog onto the right in this case there are two fields customer and material and this table 702 is a combination of customer and material again when we do hands-on we'll see how to generate this table how to view the technical details the description of these fields how to cross verify them with the actual technical names we'll see all of that in the next set of chapters go back to the third step third step is the access sequence where is the access sequence here an access sequence is a sequence in which you put your condition tables together an access sequence is set up hierarchically if you look here and expand the hierarchy you see you select the access sequence first and then double click on accesses and what do we have here we have four condition tables 005 007 009 and 004 and they're all put in a sequence 10 11 13 14 so the first preference is given to this so if a price is found for customer material it picks this if not it defaults to division customer if not it defaults to price list type currency material and finally if nothing is found it defaults to material and that's an access sequence right it's a sequence in which you, you put your um, condition tables for access we'll look at fields and the next step in uh, when we do the hands-on because we'll have to do the field mapping and all that stuff but for now just understand that access sequence is the sequence in which you access the condition tables okay the next step is condition type a condition type represents the type of calculation right for example standard condition type is PR00 if you go to PR00 look at it it's associated with an access sequence and it has a condition class a calculation type condition category what kind of rounding should be applied whether it's a header condition or an item condition what kind of scales should be used if at all a scale is used can you delete it manually can you enter it manually in the pricing procedure or in the sales order there are so many controls behind a condition type we don't need to go behind all the different things but just understand that condition type represents the type of calculation basically there are five different types of condition types prices discounts taxes surcharges and freight in case you are wondering what other modules use condition technique so in case you are wondering which other modules use the condition technique mm module uses the condition technique it's called schema it's basically used for purchase price determination input tax determination and all that stuff even CRM module uses it so overall 
um, SD, MM, CRM are, are the main modules that use the condition technique for pricing.